What a lovely day to be in Chicago. What is up, YouTube Nation? It's your boy, Brevier. Welcome to the show. I was going to do a video over there where I had the little table set up, but due to it's so bright out here, I couldn't even see the screen, okay? I couldn't see the screen on my laptop, so I'm going to have to do this straight up from off the brain. I'm going to have a little paper right here to... Uh, to further guide me through this video and one thing i want to talk about really quick is that for all you rookies out there buying cryptocurrencies before you buy any coin go search the technology of the coin if you don't know the technology of the coin then you're basically buying blind into something you want to know what they're doing behind the scenes because you want to make profits in the end there's been some big news in the Turkish country about cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin. They actually banned like maybe a week or two weeks ago that you can't make payments with Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies. But before we get there, let's let's go a little bit further back to why they had to ban cryptocurrencies. So watch this video from Bloomberg really quick. Simon, it seems that uh, you can continue with economic orthodoxy. Uh, only as long as your boss wants you to. So this personnel change at the helm was certainly dramatic, a dramatic one for the market as a consequence. Yeah, and that's right. And uh, President Erdogan essentially has this um, non-traditional belief in monetary policy. He believes that high interest rates will lead to inflation rather than the reverse, which is the more conventional view. Um, and Naji Abel had hiked interest rates by 875 basis points in his short tenure, capping that off with a 200 basis point increase on Thursday. And that appears to have been the direct impetus uh, for this shift. Um, his successor here, Shahab Kabjoglu, is known as being a bit more on Erdogan's side um, following this non-conventional monetary policy he wrote in, a, in an op-ed last month that the central bank should not pursue this high interest rate policy, particularly with low interest rates really around the world. Uh, they should be more focused on assisting um, the local economy, but clearly inflation at close to 16 percent, so you can understand why ABBA was so keen on keeping interest rates high. Okay, so you watched the video and you figured out that it was something due to their currency. Their currency plunged like 16% to 18% due to their central bank. And we've seen this in India and in Africa. You know, due to coronavirus, all these places have to make sure their currency will survive. Well, since they banned the cryptocurrency, uh, payment system in Turkey. One was called Thoradex and the other one was called Vet Bitcoin or V Bitcoin. And both of them collapsed. One of the CEOs just fled the country and the other one was detained by the authorities in Turkey. Now, my question is, why did you flee the country and why was one detained? Was some fraudulent stuff going around? Maybe uh, they didn't have enough cryptocurrency on the exchange to give out to people that um or I, I i don't know i don't know i i tried to do some research on it but i couldn't find it that is the news that is going on in turkey right now with the cryptocurrency market and i'm happy we're not there because due to their limiting cryptocurrencies um blockchain and uh smart contracts in their country they're gonna miss out on a lot a lot of technology that can make a lot more people come to their country for tourism they're gonna miss out on it but it is what it is so next up peter swift you know mr gold he made a tweet about they're selling their shares for a lot lower than what they came in with because the price of bitcoin fell and you know peter he's been getting beat by bitcoin so bad that you know this is his opportunity to come in and shine a little bit but the reason i brought that up is because Grayscale's still buying Bitcoin. They just recently bought a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin when the prices fell the first time. And they're gonna to continue to buy. They're gonna to continue to buy up as much as they can. So, and then this company actually just holds their Bitcoin. They're not gonna let it go. Now, if something major happened and they started selling Bitcoin, that would be a huge, huge um, buy signal for me. 
huge buy signal for me. But we haven't seen it. We w I want to see what these institutional investors are going to do. The ones who has Bitcoin in their balance sheet. When this price goes down to 30 grand. When they went from 100% in profit to 50% negative in profits. That's what I want to see. And remember, uh, the Rothschilds um, Investment Group in Chicago. They bought millions and millions of dollars of Ethereum shares from Grayscale. Wait till they see this price drop. You got to think about this. These institutional investors usually cut their losses at 2%. With the cryptocurrency market, things can drop within minutes 20%. So be very aware of that. And this is volatility like you never seen it before. Never seen it before. So I wish somebody um, come over here and pick me up to be on a trading group because I'd be excellent for the group. Excellent, guys. That is it for today. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to donate to my channel, it will benefit me and my channel. Those links are at the bottom of the description. And all you guys have a good day and all you guys have a good night. And enjoy the crypto life. Peace.